And it seems as if thousands upon thousands of us knew they were. And there just had to be somebody to start. There needed to be something just a little bit too obvious. Mm. And it, 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 was that, it was that teenager that passed away. There was an event, an inciting event. Do we need that? In this time of climate change, climate is changing. We're here representing life. life thousands of, thousands of life forms. Mm. We happen to be here in this. Some of us were raised on irony, weren't we? Yes. Miro, and, and, and I get the same feeling from Kandinsky. Some of our yes. fav favorite artists. They give us an exciting remembrance of, of biomorphic shapes. And they bring us to the center of a forest. And all of a sudden, we're in a coral reef. And yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about here? Yes. Yes. There's something very exciting about that kind of imagination. Yes, life flew you. We can't just let the irony set there that mm. BP is sponsoring this art. Art is a way for us to teach ourselves to see more to see the visions withheld within things, amen? amen? Amen. To remember more, to imagine more, to, to become more sensitive to the world around us, not the opposite. It seems as if right now we're being taught that the opposite is the case. That we're supposed to go, go to Miro like it is a sporting event, like we're supposed to see less and feel less and less as we put up with the sponsors that send young people off to colonial wars or something. We have a responsibility here to the to the many many living things that BP has killed and the other oil companies have killed this fossil fuel economy must end because some of us must step forward and then all of us must step forward when I have the feeling right now that many of us are carrying that anguish inside of us We know that it's probably already too late. The earth scientists who get smeared by the people hired by BP and these oil companies, they're telling us it's already too late that rapid change, much death, especially painful experiences by the many poor people who will at first get the brunt and then the sea will rise and we'll flee the coastal cities. Like this will happen so quickly. Yes. If this will happen so quickly in our lifetimes. And here we are on this lawn. Let us remember being here together. I dressed up like a right-wing fanatic from America and got doused with oil, okay? <laughs> Let's just each of us do what we can. And we will be called upon yes. to risk everything. Yes. For life. Yes. Life we will have to save life with life. Yes. That is how change has taken place. We will be called upon. We don't know exactly what form that will take. But we're so lucky to be alive. Life is such an amazing thing. Yes. And right now we're eco siding. Yes. We're killing it all. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to do that. Not deep down. We want to live in a state of gratitude. Gratitude and duet or collaborate or something a little bit like artists do. That's right. With the earth. The earth with its freak storms and dead coral reefs and rising seas and mm. impossible melting polar, polar caps and the surrealism of the earth right now is teaching all of us something. Let's let the earth teach us and let's take the earth, right up through that building. Let the art of the earth go all the way to the walls yep. and liberate the taste. Yes. 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 Yes.